How you doing, Mr. DJ's back? It's 25 past midnight here in Tuscaloosa. Kind of a warm, muggy night. May the 15th, 2015. How you doing, Mr. DJ is back. Going to put up a few videos for my 60s YouTube channel, The Lost 45s, outsourcing Billboard's Hot 100, May 16th, 1964. 41 years ago? No. Oh, my goodness. 51 years ago. Oh, my God. It's getting to be ancient history now. 51 years ago, back in the 60s. Ronest, the best part of breaking up is making up. Song produced by Phil Spector. It was also written by Phil Spector, along with Pete Andreoli and Fence Poncia. Much later, Fence Poncia produced Peter Chris's solo album. You may remember back in the late summer and fall of 78, each member of KISS released a solo album, including Peter Chris. And uh, Fence Poncia produced a solo album, and he also produced Dynasty, one of KISS's biggest albums a year later in 1979. It featured their, one of their biggest hits, I Was Made for Love and You. But that's 14, 15 years in the future. Let's go back into 1964. Among the Backups. Backup singing. I mean, we're Phil Spector loved this record. When Phil Spector loves a record, we are talking showering, showering major love on a production, working on this record. He spent hours working on harmonies with the group, the Ronettes, on this record. The backup singers on this record. Well, there was the Ronettes, Darlene Love, and the Blossoms, along with Bobby Sheen of Bobby Sox and the Blue Jeans, remember them? And also Sonny and Cher singing back up on this record. The best part of breaking up by the Ronettes. But here's the thing. You always find out these wondrous things when you do research on these records. The Ronettes didn't do as well in 1964 as they did in 63. They had that monster hit, Be My Baby. They didn't do nearly quite as well in 1964. The British invasion was kind of shoving them aside a little bit. Phil Spector was losing interest in the Ronettes. Ellie Greenwich and Jeff Berry, they wrote a song called Chapel of Love. It was recorded by the Ronettes. They had first dibs on it. Phil Spector said no. We're not releasing this record. It's not a hit. Forget it. We're not going to do it. The Dixie Cups got on it, and their version went to number one later that spring and summer of 64. So with the Dixie, with the Dixie Cups ch jumping on Chapel of Love, the Ronettes set to work on the best part of breaking up. Best part of breaking up. Song that Phil Spector absolutely adored. But it didn't do that well. The week of May 16, 1964, it went from number 45 to number 39. It's peaked at number 39, just barely crawled into the top 40. It's a jam, though. A lot of love, tenderness, Phil Spector flowing right into this record. The Wall of Sound. Ron Nance, the best part of breaking up is making up. <laughs> 